Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is October 24th, 2022. We're at Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head. And Latitude Margaritaville is a Minto 55 and over community with a 24 hour guarded security gate. And we're here today to see the Breeze model, one of the eight freestanding beach collection models by Minto that range in size from 1,685 square feet to 2,393 square feet. The Breeze is the third largest of the series with 2,083 air-conditioned square feet. The Breeze has two bedrooms and a den and two and a half bathrooms. The second bedroom has the ensuite bathroom, which means it's a private bathroom. The den that you see there to the left with the bayed window, that has an option to be converted into a third bedroom and third bathroom if you so desire. Now all of these homes have an A and a B elevation. This is the B elevation. And a question that I get asked a lot is that, do you as the buyer get to choose your color combinations, the exterior color of the house? And the answer is maybe. It depends on whether you're the first to commit to the lot where your house will be built. That person gets to choose their color combinations. There are about 12 color combinations that are predetermined. If your neighbor got there first and chose one, then you can't choose that one. You can choose any of the others. Well, the house has lots of options that allow you to individualize it to your own budget and needs. We'll talk about those as we walk through. Well, this house is closing today to some of my buyers, some of my clients. And as we walk through and talk about the house, first I'll just tell you a bit about them. They're retired from Bedford, New Jersey. They are both retired. And they chose this area instead of Florida because they said that too much traffic in Florida, it's too hot in Florida, they like a change of seasons. They vacationed here in the Hilton Head area for eight years and they love it here, specifically about Latitude Margaritaville. They love the Caribbean colors, the cheerful colors that the houses have. They love the atmosphere here, which some people refer to as the vibe. They love the people. A very common comment that I hear is that the people here are very friendly and the gentleman likes to do saltwater kayak fishing for redfish and trout. The lady likes the classes for Zumba and the dancing classes. Another question that people ask is, what's the difference between the Breeze and the Breeze Bay? Well, we'll keep it simple, but one of the differences is that this offset that you see here, where the outside porch wraps around the corner, well, the living area, the heating and heated and cooled space is actually bumped back so that your outside porch is smaller, but that your overall living space is bigger. And another change between the breeze that you're in now and the breeze bay is that in the breeze bay, this kitchen island becomes more triangular and is turned at a 45 degree angle. Those are your two big differences. But this home has lots of upgrades. I'll just mention a few of them. First off, standard and included is your granite countertop. And this is a beautiful quartz top. The standard and included is a stained birch brown cabinet. Well, they've gone with the painted cabinets here. The painted gray, the painted white, and the admiral blue are three very popular colors these days. Well, they've also upgraded to the very top of the line appliances. The uh, KitchenAid is your top of the line whirlpool. They have that in the house. 
the, wa the washer and dryer is not included. They're purchasing that on their own, but they did get the uh, uh, refrigerator through the builder. The backsplash is an option, and they've got a traditional white subway tile splash with the optional under cabinet lighting. And yes, this is a natural gas community, and your standard included range is a flat ceramic top range. Well, they've gone with the gas range here, and that's also a very popular option. A beautiful kitchen, a big open contemporary floor plan, and you probably noticed that where the carpet is standard and included in the bedrooms and in the living area, well, this buyer has run the laminate floor right on through, and that's also a very popular option these days. The vaulted ceiling in the living room is a standard included architectural feature. Options are those recessed lights, which they've added. And you can see that there's uh, no ceiling fans or ceiling light fixtures here. That's because this buyer has chosen to get them on their own in the aftermarket rather than through the builder. From the living area, we have a privacy jog into the primary bedroom with a bayed window and a recessed ceiling. All of this architecture is standard and included. If you are interested, this bedroom is 14 feet, four inches by 16 feet, two inches. They also chose to go with the window blind package. Minto also offers the Savannah or sometimes called plantation shutters. You can either get your own window coverings in the aftermarket or have them put them in. Buying them through the builder is a very popular option. And the hallway to the primary bathroom, well, you have his and her closets on both sides of the short hallway. And this mirror to the right here is a standard and included feature. And here's just a quick look at one of the two walk-in closets, which actually have similar size. The builder offers, by the way, some custom shelving, if when you build, you would prefer that. Many of these interior design features that we're talking about, by the way, are done at the design center. They have A options, which are structural options, and you go to contract on those. And then after that, you go to the design center and you choose what are called the B options. Those are all of these interior finishes, your cabinets, countertops, colors, tile, that sort of thing. You make those decisions to personalize the home to your own level of budget and luxury. Well, take this shower as an example. There's several option choices that any buyer can make here. The tiled shower is standard and included, but you can also opt for a flush entry, meaning no step entry. Here you step down just a couple of inches. Notice that the frame is a chrome frame. You can choose your hardware style for the frame and with your sinks and so forth, your faucets. The frameless enclosure is very popular. And you can also choose to put a tub in the corner here and add a shower as well. So several big options just surrounding this part of the primary bathroom. The foyer entry in the breeze has a beautiful high ceiling leading from the front entry door to the great room. Off to the side, our half bath with the pedestal sink. Your carrier air handler is in the closet for a longer life. It's a gas machine. This is a natural gas community, so you have natural gas heat. The carrier system is 15 sear with a humidity control feature. 
Just off of the entrance hallway is the den. It measures 11 feet 4 inches by 18 feet 7 inches. Has this beautiful bayed trio of windows and several options worth mentioning here. One is the recess that you see there, meaning the setback in the room. Well, that can be an optional wet or dry bar if you wanted to make this into a uh, uh, into a den like that. And another option is to turn this into a bedroom, your third bedroom, where that would become a closet and then there would be a entrance into that third bathroom. The half bathroom that you saw would be converted into the third bathroom. There's good separation of space as we come from the foyer hallway to our second bedroom, which has that ensuite bathroom that I told you about, and ensuite just means private. And it's a real beauty. This has, uh, as standard and included, would be a fiberglass tub and shower. Well, here they've got the tiled surround. They've upgraded, as they did in the primary bathroom, to the granite top with the undermounted porcelain sink. They've got the tile floor laid on the diagonal. And the high window is obscured to let in light as well as give you privacy. And we don't want to forget the laundry room, the washer and dryer. Well, the buyer is going to purchase that in the aftermarket. It comes standard with a tile floor. This Slop sink over here and cabinet is an option and a very popular one. You can also opt to add some cabinets instead of the wire rack, which is standard and included. And all of these homes come with a tankless natural gas water heater. It's on the outside of the house. This is the thermostat for that, set to the typical 120 degrees. Our two-car garage measures 21 feet 4 inches by 21 feet 2 inches. All of the Minto homes, ladies and gentlemen, that are currently offered have two-car garages. They all have the automatic garage door openers, which are standard and included. They all have the whole house water cutoffs, standard and included. A beautiful option is this enamel floor in the garage. I like that. For mechanical access to the attic over your garage, an option which is available is to have a drop-down stairway. And of course, that gives you a little storage up there for things like these extra building materials, which the builder has left and will also leave you when you build. The integral covered back porch, or sometimes referred to as a lanai, is a standard feature in all of the Minto homes. But in the breeze, as I was saying, it wraps around, and that's different from the breeze bay, where the porch would come across, your porch would be smaller, it wouldn't have that setback, but you'd have just a bit more living space. And that would be 43 square feet more living space, for the bay and the breeze bay cost the base price is about two thousand dollars more and how about this beautiful sliding glass door so popular really lets the light in makes for a really beautiful house and how about this extended patio i like that i recommend it to my buyers and many of my buyers like to have a gas stub, like you see here, for barbecuing. Gets your barbecue out from under the covered porch. And you may notice that this porch is not screened. Well, that's because it's also an option. And this buyer elected to do it in the aftermarket. Call me, we'll talk about all the various options. Let's talk about some of the construction features, which are standard in all of the Minto homes, including this Breeze model. All of the homes here in Latitude are on slab, which is a concrete platform elevated just above grade. All of Latitude is 
floodplain X, which means that when you're getting a loan from a bank, there's optional flood insurance. All of these homes have two by six exterior frames and the hardy plank concrete fiberboard siding, which is the state of the art in siding today. Bugs don't eat it, doesn't rot, looks great, it's very durable. These homes all have vinyl windows and they all have fiberglass architectural shingles. These homes are all well insulated with the blown insulation in your ceiling. It's R38 blown insulation. You have R19 fiberglass bats. Your roof deck is the radiant board roof deck which keeps your attic about 10 degrees cooler. These are all energy saving features ladies and gentlemen and will make you more comfortable. The homes all have the 15 sear carrier air conditioners and natural gas heat. These homes are all professionally landscaped and irrigated and your HOA fee in the beach collection homes is $252.59 per month. It's actually collected quarterly and that fee includes not just your yard care but the actual cost of the water for irrigation. It also includes community management. It includes services like security. It includes access to all of the community amenities and common area insurance and reserves for the community. Before we go over to the town square and finish up, I just want to say thank you to these buyers. They've been just wonderful and so nice. I'm sure they're going to enjoy the home. They're very happy to be here and I'm so happy that they allowed me to be just part of their success in relocating here to Latitude Margaritaville. And in the town square, the Latitude Bar and Chill Restaurant is the place to go for lunch and dinner where the prices are good, the service is good, and of course the food is good. They continue to make progress on the work in and play in center. The work in and play in center is going to be where many of the clubs for the community will meet. I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting social center for Latitude. It's almost finished. Shouldn't be too much longer. And the last Mango Theater is almost ready. Here we are at the band shell in the town square. And I'd just like to remind everyone that I'm a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I work for you, the buyer. I don't work for Minto. I don't work for the community. I work for you. And you pay nothing for my service. That's because Minto, the developer, pays my fee. It's already in the price of the real estate that you buy. I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. It makes it pretty much a no-brainer to have a good buyer's agent helping you and advising you, especially because the price of the home that you buy is not higher when you have a buyer's agent. In other words, you don't pay more. There is one thing. To get on the reservation list to build here, you have to register. You have to be here and register. And to have a buyer's agent, you have to declare it at that time. You have to tell Mento that you're going to have a buyer's agent. Hopefully you'll keep me in mind and tell them that, yes, Richard Kadish is your buyer's agent. We have to follow that up with a broker form. But I can help you with that and with the entire process. I would just ask you to call me 
so we can get acquainted before you come here so we can coordinate your visit and we'll tour the community together. I have 46 years of local real estate experience with advice you can trust and I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. Here's how you can reach me. Please call any time. My cell number 843-684-2933. My email address rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. So thank you for watching, watching this video. And if you like the video, well, there's more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Look forward to meeting you.